guys, I'm filming on my DSLR again. Let me know what you think of the quality because my regular camera that I film with, my newer camera, is just driving me nuts with the lighting situation because it's just not great in low light situations and with it being wintry and dark outside, it's I'm just finding it so difficult to film and it doesn't like my light that I've bought to film with at night time where I'm actually using that at the moment to kind of counteract that I'm filming with um, a window on one side of me and then the light on the other side of me. So hopefully this is gonna be a way forward for me to be able to film throughout the winter. But my main issue was with, with this was that I couldn't always see whether or not I was in focus. So fingers crossed I am clear and you can see me and we can get on with the video, but I will mention, uh, I will go over kind of filming and things in another video. Because uh, lots of people have qu had questions about how I film, the camera I use, etc, etc. So I will film a video about that soon. Anyway, this is going to be one of my gift guides this year. I think I'm going to do three, uh, but only one of them will go on this channel. One gift guide for her, then I'm going to do a gift guide for him, and a gift guide for kids. And those two, the, the kids and the him, are going to go over onto my... Um, over? Over onto my um, vlog channel, because I don't know whether or not you'd be as interested in that. By the time I actually have this up, I can change it, so let me know if you'd rather see that on this channel. Um, and if I get enough people, then I will put it over in this channel as well. But I did intend to put those ones on my vlog channel, just to kind of... Let me know if you don't want to see it, basically, because um, I don't want to bombard you with videos that you don't want to see, if you just want to see the girly stuff. So anyway, I'm just going to get on with it, and I'll talk about, first of all, the thing that doesn't really fit into another category, and it is this THX Blow Dry Hair Styler. I did mention this in a video recently, so I'm not going to go on and on about it, but it's basically a very, very similar tool to the Babyliss, but it's much, much cheaper. It's an offer at the moment, and um, it's a non-rotating version. So you basically just put it through your hair, and it blow dries it, and it is my go-to styling tool. I cannot say enough about it. So, so impressed with it, and I think especially since it's an offer at the moment, and it just seems like so much more expensive than it actually is. I think it's a really good gift. So I had to mention that because of the offer and also um, because I use it a lot and I just think that the Babyliss Big Hair was a huge Christmas present and massive um, thing on people's wish lists last year. So for people that didn't have it or people on a smaller budget, that's a really great alternative. Now I'm gonna go into my nails category because I have a few things to talk about in that category. I have a couple of sets. The first one is from e.l.f. and it's the Mysterious Nail Polish Set. And it comes with um, kind of a purple, uh, a dark navy and a metallic, what are we calling this? Metallic madness or metal madness? Metal madness? It's kind of a real dark gunmetal black. I think this is a really nice little set and again, something that's really, really nice on a budget or a stocking filler kind of gift. Um, another nail polish set is from Ted Baker and this comes with two different polishes. One is called Cherry Bomb and this one is called Sugar Rush. And the Cherry Bomb, the idea is that you'll put the opaque, darker Cherry Bomb shade underneath and then you'll put the glittery pink over the top and it's just really really nice and festive and these come in maybe four or five different shades you will be able to see so many swatches of these online if you google them um but they are i don't know if they've got a specific name i don't think so but the whole range um recently has been called ted's sweet treats so if you google that you'll probably find swatches of these uh but i am actually running a ted baker christmas giveaway very very soon so check out my blog for that and it might already be up if you see the links below. Uh, but this again is a very nice little stocking filler kind of gift. Um, oh, picking up the wrong thing. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention nail polish wise, it's not really a gift and a couple of things in with this aren't really specifically aimed to be gifts um, like this one, but it's the Essie metallic range from uh, the summer that you might remember. Penny Talk is this rose gold shade and I have it on my nails right now, completely obsessed. I wanted it so much, but eight pounds for a nail polish. I haven't paid full price for many of my Essies. Eight pound for a nail polish, I was like, can I really justify that? And then by the time I decided I wanted it, it was sold out everywhere. So the fact that you can now buy them for 3 99 on extras is pretty amazing. And I think they have all of the metallic shades, so check those out. And I think that if you are looking for a stocking filler, or if you're like, a teenager looking for a couple of presents for like friends or something, then a nail polish each, and it's a nice nail polish. It's very, very nice. It's opaque in one stroke. It's one of the nicest nail polishes I've used in a really, really long time. And given that they are metallic and they're very, very Christmassy and festive, I think that they are very, very nice. Very, 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 very is my verbal tick for this video, it would appear. Um, but I think they are very, very, very nice uh, as little stocking filler kind of gifts. Just token gesture gifts, I suppose. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is fragrance. And I have two fragrances to talk about completely different. Uh, Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift which is actually my go-to fragrance. I wear this all the time. Very, very sweet, but it does have a little bit of heaviness and it lasts all day. It's not gonna be for everyone, but it's a really nice kind of younger fragrance in my opinion. I know it's a sweeping statement and it's kind of a presumption that someone that is younger that will like a sweeter fragrance, but you know, I'm just gonna go with that because 
that is generally the consensus but I really really like this and it's not an expensive gift at all and then there's the next New York fragrance which is a complete polar opposite this is sweet and this is not very sweet at all it's quite floral it shares a lot of notes with the YSL Paris I actually noted that because it smells it smells to me so much like my grandma did when I was growing up it's just Oh, it just reminds me so much of her and it's so, so strange. If you like YSL Paris, you should really go and smell this and if you know someone in your family that does like YSL Paris, this is a great present for them because although you wouldn't necessarily pick it out for them, it smells so much like it, they'll probably really appreciate it and it's a fraction of the cost for 50 mil. I think it looks so nice given that it's on the high street. I know that it's very minimal and basic but I think a lot of high-end brands are going for that look these days and this is a very, very nice alternative um, to spending an awful lot of money on an older relative if they're going to appreciate it just as much. And I just think it's a really, really nice option from the high street for a fragrance. Next, I have a couple of palette type things. I'll mention this first of all because it's not really a palette. Um, it's a tin. And I did review this on my blog last week. Uh, it's from Ted Baker and it's a tin of kind of lip pencils. It's along the chubby lip pencil line like the um, Clinique chubby sticks, like the... Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains. The only difference is that they're not really stains. You still get the chubby stick, it still twists up. Everything else is the same. It's just that it is more of a lipstick rather than a stain. But it is very, very balmy and it is more of a tint. Um, and it's just a really nice little gift, I think. I think it looks, again, more expensive than it actually is. And for anyone that is on that bandwagon with the trends of the chunky lip pencils, they'll probably really, really like this. And I know that not everyone likes the stains because they're quite drying. I think they're a really nice alternative for people like that. Um, that's available in Boots as well. Again, I will link everything below. Another thing from Boots is this, and it's the FC UK Colourful Palette, I think, or the colour palette it's called. There are 10 eyeshadows in here, five lip colours and two applicators, which generally I get rid of immediately, but I don't know, I think they're still in here. Um, we have the 10 colours there, which by the way are really nicely pigmented. The black's not amazing, but quite often that happens. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you the camera, I know this was a problem I had before with this camera. It doesn't autofocus, so you're never going to see it. I'll show you it from back here! Um, really, really nice. The only thing is that I think that this is tailored to people that like cooler shades, um, and I don't know whether or not they... Like when they say colour palette, it's really to me pinks and blues. There's no other kind of colours in there, they didn't put any greens or purples or anything kind of a little bit warmer. So although it's nice, it's not something that I would pick up or necessarily get much use out of. Um, if I can remember how to take, slide the bottom out, Aha, there we are. There are also five lip shades under there that again are very, very nice. I think it's very compact and although I don't normally like lip palettes because it is very compact, it's something that I perhaps would take if I was travelling or just popping my handbag. But again, a very nice little gift. And uh, the last palette type product um, is this e.l.f. 100 piece marble eyeshadow palette. I really like e.l.f. eyeshadows and these particular palettes I think are really, really nice. There are a couple of shades in here that I look at and go, wow, I can't wait to try that. Like some, a couple of really hot pinks, a lot of neutrals down here, but a really nice selection of shades. And someone that is just starting out with makeup or wanting to expand, I think this is a really nice gift on a budget. Um, the next thing I'm going to mention, and I'm going to talk about this briefly because, again, this is a little bit more of an expensive gift, um, but Sigma brushes. I am in love with my Sigma brushes. I have been sent ones from other brands. I've tried them and I've not liked them as much. I just don't know, don't know where I would be without my Sigma brushes. That's so dramatic. Um, I don't buy MAC ones. I've bought two in the past from CCOs and saw no difference. I saw nothing that would make me think, wow, I need to go out and buy more. Nothing whatsoever. I The only thing with this is that the shipping is quite expensive. If you've missed out on the recent Black Friday free shipping, they, they generally do a bit of an offer after Black Friday for the people that couldn't get on the website. So look out for that and if I know about it, I will put a link um, in the down bar. Um, but I actually bought all my Sigma brushes bar a couple very, very long time ago myself and I bought this set myself and I absolutely love it. I don't remember off the top of my head how much it is, but I will put it in the I'll put a little annotation below. Um, but if you don't have the budget for that, another thing that I would absolutely love, that is a huge thing on my Christmas list and on all my wish lists, because I've just not gotten around to buying it for myself for some reason, is the travel size version of this. This is the Make It, Make Me Up Pink kit, I think it is. And then they do this in the travel size. And basically this has got a lid, you then take the lid off and that becomes one of these. So it's two holders for your brushes and especially when you're traveling, it's fantastic. I take this whole thing traveling with me and I really like the big brushes, but I would like a travel kit so it's more condensed when 
I'm going on a trip that I don't want to pack as much stuff. But that's also a really nice gift and there are other options. You don't need to go for the big size and the big money ones. You can get cheaper ones as well. And there are always, always discount codes. Um, what else do I have? I'll mention this just because it's here and I don't think that it fits into a category either. I picked these up the other day. And again, not really a gift, but I think for someone that's just wanting to buy something small for a friend or a little stocking filler, I absolutely love these. Um, and they are little earrings that have uh, my initials on them and it just so happens that my initials are MM. But obviously, <laughs> not a lot of people that will happen to. So even if my initials were M something, I still really like them. And they're just kind of initial necklaces. Uh, necklaces? N initial earrings. Um, and they have the ones with the diamantes and the ones with just gold and little fancy swirly ones. And I think they're a really nice gift. So that's an option as well. If you don't have a lot of money to spend, you just want to buy a token gift for someone, I think that's really cute. Secret Santa would be a great one for that. Um, I also, last of all, have a couple of bath time kind of gifts. This one is from Cowshed and it has um, an uplifting bath and shower gel and body lotion. This again would be really nice for a secret Santa or for um, someone that you just you just don't know what to purchase for because I think it's just one of those generic things that anyone would like. It's, you don't have to know a lot about the person to buy them something like this. Um, you just maybe need to know that they're not allergic to something. Um, but something, it's just a very nice packaged gift that looks like more than it really is, I suppose. Uh, but very, very nice, nonetheless. Um, a couple of things that perhaps you would buy for someone that would more appreciate um, relaxing time or you know that likes to pamper themselves. I have two scrubs. I'll talk about this one first of all because it's not covered in gunk like the other one. And it's the Next Spa Purifying and Exfoliating Sugar Body Scrub. Next actually do a whole spa range if you're interested. They do um, kind of the candle of it and everything and it's a really, really nice scent. It does just very, it smells a lot like, um, like Liz Earl and that kind of thing. I think it's the lavender in it, but basically it's a golden, sparkly, shimmery body scrub, which is very, very nice. Um, I also have another body scrub here, which I am obsessed with, and again, will be going in my favourites video, but it's very sticky because it's greasy and oily and it's been on my bath side, and it's the Arbon Vanilla Amber Sugar Scrub. And basically, there's a big layer of sugar, and it's very, very, very thick grounds of sugar, and then it's full up to the top with oil, so you have to put your hand in through the oil to scrub, uh, to get out the sugar and scrub yourself and it's just the most amazing thing. I'm going to talk about it in another video because I, I don't want to, this, this is going to be super long and I just, I don't want to even get into this because you'll never stop me talking about it but I'm in love with it, it smells amazing. Um, but it leaves my skin so, so soft and it leaves this layer and I'll talk about it in another video. <laughs> but amazing. And I think maybe the last thing I have here to talk about, amazing, amazing is this, the Organic Surge Spice Lily Foaming Bath. And I used this last night and it's amazing. <laughs> Favourite word of the day. Um, it's, oh, it's a relaxing bath, bubble bath, I suppose. But most relaxing bubble baths are lavender and I'm not a big lavender scented fan, um, which is why perhaps I've gone for the vanilla amber Arbonne Sugar Scrub more than I have the golden one from Next. I'm just not a big fan. And I know lots of people like lavender, but I'm not one of them. And um, this isn't lavender at all. It's organic patchouli and clove bud essential oils but all I can smell is clove and if you, if you can see in the background you probably can't I have a candle burning and that is um, Noel by Next and that the base note in that is clove and I, I just love it it's like a really non-offensive yet very very warm wintry scent and this has it in it and it's just so so nice I would massively recommend this I know it's just a bubble bath but again not everyone has not everyone has the kind of relationship with people that they'll go out and spend £50 on a gift. If it's something that you want to get for someone because you want to buy them a gift, but you may you maybe have your first job and you don't have a tremendous amount of money, but you'd like to buy something for everyone. You don't have to buy everyone a, a massive, huge gift. Just get them something and put a little bit of thought into it. If you know that someone likes bubble baths, so you know that someone would like to relax or likes the scent of cloves or patchouli, just think about it a little bit more and get them one little thing that is relevant to them. And I think this is so nice, pretty much for anyone. And it's very, very Christmassy and festive um, and wintry just in general. So yeah, just be aware for those of you that haven't got a tremendous amount of money, don't bankrupt yourselves at Christmas by spending a fortune on people that don't really need you to spend a fortune on them and probably won't appreciate you bankrupting yourself to buy them a gift. So I hope that some of you have got some gift ideas from this. Um, let me know if you want me to put up the men's and the kids one on this channel, on my vlog channel. I didn't really think about it prior to making this video. I just kind of thought, well, they'll go over on that channel. But let me know, because I might put them on this channel after all. Um, and let me know how the camera was as well, because I'm going to upload this before I start filming the other ones. 
um, just to see how it all goes and everything. So fingers crossed it's clear because Milo is going to be taking a nap later on and I should be able to film the rest of them later. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys in my next video and any other requests for the videos again, let me know. Bye!